Welcome back, drivers. Today, we have an exciting showdown between two popular compact SUVs, the Toyota RAV4 and the Honda CR-V. In the realm of compact SUVs, the battle between the Toyota RAV4 and the Honda CR-V has been a fierce one. Both vehicles have their own strengths and loyal fan bases. In this video, I will be telling you why the Toyota RAV4 is still better than the new Honda CR-V. For many years, the CR-V dominated the RAV4 but recently Honda has started to fall back which has led Toyota to take the crown. The RAV4 has been the best-selling compact SUV because of its reliability, design and resale value. The new generation of Honda CR-V has been released with new aggressive front end and more simplistic interior. The CR-V's main competition is the Toyota RAV4 which has been a strong alternative for people who considered buying the CR-V. When it was announced that Honda was making a new CR-V people were excited and eager to see what Honda would build. Features like a panoramic sunroof, a better sound system, ventilated seats, 360-degree camera, more power, heated rear seats were all features that were rumored to be in the new CR-V. But sadly, we only got a better sound system and more power. This is a big deal breaker because the current RAV4 which released in 2019 has almost all these features. Although the front end of the new CR-V looks very aggressive the rear end looks very plain when compared to the previous generation CR-V which had a more aggressive rear end. In terms of looks, both look good but the RAV4 does look better as both the front and rear end look good. In fact, I think that the previous generation CR-V Touring looks better than the new CR-V and current RAV4. The RAV4 also comes with many more trims ranging from the base model, to a more off-road model, to a very luxurious model. The CR-V comes with 6 different trim models whereas the RAV4 comes with 13 which does result in the RAV4 being more popular and appealing to customers. We can see the same thing with the new Honda Accord. People expected more features and better styling but Honda did not deliver. Speaking of Honda Accord, make sure to check out my last video about the Honda Accord and make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Both of the top-of-line trims in both cars have similar pricing but for the money, the RAV4 has better reliability, more features and almost the same amount of power. As a Honda fanboy, I really wish Honda had made the new CR-V better than the RAV4. With the new CR-V, you are just paying for a CR-V with a new exterior and interior design. The new CR-V really doesn't seem to be that different from the previous generation. The next generation RAV4 is rumored to have a 13 inches screen and more features than the current generation. If this is true, I think this truly blows the CR-V out of the game. Honda really needs to add more features during the facelift as the compact SUV industry is extremely hot right now and I am afraid that the RAV4 will be the king. If you plan on going on many road trips, driving on rough terrain and having fun with your car, the RAV4 is the car for you as it offers an off-road trim which helps you take your car anywhere you want. With available dynamic torque vectoring all-wheel drive, multi-terrain select, and an impressive ground clearance, the RAV4 is built to tackle various terrains with ease. Its off-road prowess enables drivers to explore beyond the beaten path, whether it's a rugged mountain trail or a muddy backroad. The CR-V, while capable, falls short in comparison to the RAV4's adventurous spirit. Toyota also gave the RAV4 the edge with towing as it can also tow more than the CR-V. Another area where the RAV4 dominates is in the hybrid field. The RAV4 Prime is a plug hybrid with over 300 horsepower, with 38 mpg in the city and 94 mpg on the highway. Honda does not offer anything like this to the CR-V. The CR-V is still a very good car but the RAV4 offers more for the same price which makes it your money's worth. Let's talk about long-term value. The RAV4 has consistently held its value well over time, making it an excellent investment. Its strong resale value is a testament to its quality and desirability among buyers. On the other hand, the CR-V's resale value, while decent, doesn't quite match up to the RAV4. So, if you plan on upgrading your vehicle in the future, the RAV4 will offer a better return on your investment. In terms of pricing, the RAV4 and the CR-V are comparable, with slight variations depending on trim levels and optional features. However, when considering the overall value, the RAV4 offers more standard features, better fuel efficiency, and a higher resale value, making it a more cost-effective choice in the long run. The RAV4's superior design, performance, safety features, and technology package justify its slightly higher initial cost, providing a better return on investment over time. And there you have it, folks. The Toyota RAV4 proves itself as the clear winner in this battle against the Honda CR-V. With its exceptional fuel efficiency, advanced technology features, towing capability, reliability, and strong resale value, the RAV4 outshines its competitor in every aspect. Remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel for more exciting content, and let us know in the comments which features of the RAV4 impressed you the most. Until next time, happy driving!